Hello and welcome to fit to box channel please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads. Today's video is about the new Phenom gloves with that very distinctive knuckle lump. So since I did the head to head with the rival gloves uh, on the weekend I have caught a, a fair amount of heat from viewers and also a certain brand uh, around the fact of that being copied. So it's all around that distinctive lump. A lump that was first done by Rival. We've seen Lomachenko wear these gloves, we've seen Usek wear these gloves, we've also seen uh, um, Anthony Joshua wear these gloves. And anyone seeing these gloves and seeing that lump will instantly recognise it as being a rival innovation. Uh, and I have consistently given Rival credit for their innovation over the years. I've done videos on it. So I'm sure that if there's any patent to back this up, that Rival obviously can enforce that. Um, so time will tell as to whether or not this will still be out on the, uh, available or not. Or whether or not Phenom can in fact do that if there's nothing in place from Rival to prevent them doing it. That said, um, people are saying that uh, these are an exact copy and that is not true. That is not true. So let me just show you this glove. So first of all, let's go to that knuckle. Now the knuckle, first of all, that is a different material. That is an XRD material in there, okay? So this one was D3O. So Phenom haven't copied the actual material that Rival used. Also, the thickness, if you look at the thickness there, Phenom have gone with six millimeters as opposed to the three millimeters there uh, of Rival. Also when you look at the, the size of the pad you can see that the Phenom is a longer pad down the rear of the glove so the shorter pad there from Rival. So the rest of the glove the, you've got a different strap so on there like so you've got a different leather you've got different piping on this glove you've also got different stitching you've got a different lining you've also got a different thumb and you've got different styling I think it's fair to say that these two gloves are very different when it comes to styling so what I've encountered on the channel so far is you do get companies that will order a winning pair of gloves they will take that winning pair of gloves to pieces and they will try and replicate the whole glove uh, and I have actively encouraged, encouraged companies not to do that to, to forge their own path to not just copy a whole glove um, and I've done videos again about that and I'm very vocal not only on the channel but to the brands as well when I go back to them and say look why don't you just do your own thing so these Phenom have the very same uh, very recognizable knuckle lump but they haven't copied anything else on the glove it's not like they've got that glove took it to pieces and produced an exact same copy in every way the only thing that is recognizable really on this glove is the knuckle lump so as I say and even that they've tried to do it with a totally different material uh, totally different thickness and also totally different size with it coming down the rear of the glove uh, more than it does on the rival so at the end of the day this is out on the market this glove it is excellent if you look at my head-to-head -head video you will see the rounds where this picked up points and where it lost points and the and the rounds where I give full credit to the rival gloves that being said here is the full review of these excellent Phenom gloves So these are the Phenom XRT220S Ultimate Bag Gloves. Here you can see in the black and the red. And then you've got like that silver embroidery on the rear. And they also come, as shown in the other video, 
in the white and the gold and that gold stitching on the front and you've also got the gold embroidery on the rear of the wrist and the rear of the glove let me put that to one side okay so these come in two sizes so you've got the small stroke medium which is this white one and you've got the large stroke extra large which is the black and the red one the smaller version this is to replicate the size of an eight ounce fight glove I have weighed them, they came out at the left 11 and 3 quarters and the right 11 and 3 quarters. So both of the two gloves are the same. The size replicated 8 ounce, but obviously being a bag glove with that extra weight on there, that's why they're, they're a little heavy um, to 8 ounce. They're not meant to be 8 ounce, they're just meant to be bag gloves replicating the size of an 8 ounce. So let me put that there. And then with the large stroke XL, we have got, again, these should be similar size to a 10 ounce fight glove. And these weighed 12 and a half on the left and 12 and three quarters on the right, about a quarter ounce between the two. Again, because they're bag gloves and you're not gonna be using them for sparring, I'm not that concerned about that little bit extra weight um, because obviously that has all gone on protection. So these gloves are specifically designed for bags and pad work. They are not to be used ever for sparring because that knuckle pad does not lend itself to sparring in any way. So let's go. So that knuckle lump there, that is the instantly recognizable rival knuckle lump from their rival IntelliShocks. The difference between the rivals and this one is this is six millimeters, not three millimeters. And this is made out of XRD when it comes to the padding that's inside, not D3O. And also, it does go down uh, longer down the base of the glove um, from there. So that bit there is longer than on rivals. But with that technology, the XRD, it's extreme impact protection and absorbs up to 90% of the blows when you're using it. And, and that company, XRD, that technology is a competitor of the D3O. So let's just show you the rest of the glove. On here you can see they've got some really great leather as I bring that round. Double stitched. The stitching I have to say is excellent. Really really good. Uh, as you can see around that knuckle pad as well. The lining in these gloves is a really great lining. Very very comfortable on the lining really nice around the hands that wrist they've gone with a standard hook and loop wrist that just goes round that sort of straight at the back and is that long there and i'll bring that round and they've got that embroidery phenom embroidery on the rear of that as well and then you've got the face of the glove so on the face of the glove you can open the hand Fine, no problem at all. Uh, great punch surface, great protection for your knuckles. On there as well as that great stitching, you have got the air holes. So they've got large air holes, both on the face of the glove, but also on the thumb as well. See that sort of thumb attachment there and a very comfortable thumb as well on these gloves. The price of them, $179.99, which I think is a perfect price for a glove of this standard. And also, as, an as announced in the last video, where it was the head-to-head -head with the rivals, uh, it was a very, very close contest, but these are now the new fit to box bag glove champions. The fit to box score I'll put on the screen on the card, and that is Style 97, Comfort 98, Durability 97, no score for sparring because these are strictly a bag glove. Uh, bag score 97, value for money 94 at £179.99 and the overall score of 96.6.
So if you want to check out my bag division, go onto my website, fit2boxchannel.com, and you can see from the champion all the way down the contenders, all of the bag gloves that I sort of rate on my channel. So let's just bring this one around as well so you can have a close-up of this one. There, again, you've got the little badge there. It's very clean looking when it comes to style. I really like what they've done. I'm very in your face normally for myself, but I can see the appeal of that sort of straightforward, clean, stylish colours and how they've positioned the glove in terms of the styling. It's a great looking glove. Uh, I have not seen a company using XRD technology in their gloves so far. So that's a first for a company, a boxing company that I'm aware of. They do feel absolutely brilliant on the bag. I really enjoyed using them and uh, replicating that fight glove feel but getting the protection uh, on the bags because of course if you use fight gloves on the bags they're not made for hitting bags so they will wear out quickly. With that pad what will happen is it feels like you've got fight gloves on but they will last a tremendous amount of time longer. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box to channel and I shall speak to you soon.